You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Item provided by Lundy for review. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Excited to bring you the next Lundby Dollhouse video. This one here is an additional floor. And I do have to thank Lundby for sending us this item to check out on video and the other cool sets you're going to see today. But now, as you can see, my kids will have their own room. So I'm going to move their furniture down. And then this is like the living room. So what I'm going to do, I actually have the furniture that's in here. But I'm going to do something different. I'm going to bring in some Christmas sets and decorate this whole room with a Christmas scene. I'll show you exactly what I'm going to do in just a second, but I do like to show you the back of the box because people do like to look at that and read the information there. You can always pause in the large and check it out. The English is right here. So there, if you want to focus in on that here, I'll just help you out for a quick second. It just tells you about the product and some other pertinent information and details. There you go. As you can see, we have a living room and the kids' room, so I'm excited to make those changes. So what am I going to do? Well, Lundy sent us some cool stuff to add to our dollhouse. They are enjoying the series from what they say. It's pretty cool. I have the Lundy fireplace with some presents and stockings for the kids. And then I have the Lundy Christmas tree with the gnome and some presents. So those are going to go in the house. So what I'm going to do, though, what I want to do, is build this whole floor. So that's gonna take a little bit of time, but I'll do that with you on video like I've done all the other sets. So let's do that next. All right, I cut the top open for you and then I'm just gonna kind of peel all the parts back so you can see it. This is the outside back area where you plug in. And then let's see, what else do we have? Okay, this folds back and down. My flooring, I'll get as much as I can out in the space I have. My instructions. An additional door, some more paperwork, I'll see it's about the lighting, some booklets with more stuff, some nicely wrapped panels, which I'll have to show you shortly here, and the screw just came on somewhere, so I'll have to figure out where that one goes. Looks like the kids' room panel. All right, I'll have to wait on that, I don't want to do anything else there. A couple panels, and then my main base panel. And it looks like the top of the house section. Okay. And that's everything that's in the box. All right. So now you see an empty box, which is not fun. So let me come back now. I will uh, start building this with you. All right. I'm pretty sure I have everything set. I'll give you a brief look at the instruction sheet so you kind of know where I'm headed. There is step one. And there's your parts diagram. So go over all that. And then, so the pieces I don't need right away are this one. It's kind of like the outside trim piece that holds everything together. This is the ceiling part. This is the floor part. And then this is my back walls. My door, of course, opens in both directions. And then my electrical connection, I have all my screws, two outside walls, and my one inner wall. So basically, they're showing this into this. And... There's pretty much only one way you can do this so that this all matches up. You want your floors and walls to match up. Now, I looked at these two pieces. They're both pretty much exactly the same, except you have to look at your finish side, right? So now they want these to slide down. Now, your window's open this way. So this goes towards the front. So this one here goes this way. Okay, so what I was looking at is the notch. Hard to see here now, but this notch goes up, okay? This one will be easier for you to see how I do this one. So you don't want to put it this way, because then your notch is the wrong way, and then this piece is the wrong way. So you want to do that. Now you can see as the house starts to connect. Okay, and then they want you to put in your outside, bigger white section here again. You want this to go inside. And how do you line it up? Well, you have to line it up so that the two room sizes match up. So that seems going to match up. And it looks like it just all slides into here. Now, there is a little fidgeting sometimes to get everything just right. It may not stay exactly right until you get that front frame on. So let me come back now. I'm going to change the camera angle and move on to the next few steps. All right, we are technically on step three. They give you a little inset here the handle up and then there's a little notch there that you're looking at so you know which way this goes so of course you want 
this pattern going towards this wall and then this is going to slide in handle up you want it so that slides in and then these little pegs are down at the bottom so once you slide in you should kind of get a little click there and then the last thing now this is how the floor is going to sit like this okay is this trim piece now this one like on the last one you know it took me a little bit just to get everything just right you kind of feel it all locking in and then there are screws so you just have to put these in so let me get my tool for that and then I will come back when I'm almost done with this and then we'll turn it over together all right now putting in the screws last time I recommended a screwdriver if you want to speed it up you know you can use a tool but just be careful because you don't want to go too fast and too hard now I have it set to stop at a certain point so and this is not really a major screwdriver but I've been using it for other projects around the shop and it works good for battery compartments see it's stopped so it'll only go so far and then it looks like I've got them all this will be the last one here okay so now it is set let me turn it over I put all the screws back here now you've got two four six here and six on the other spot and this is just gonna end up like this all right there we go this is the way we want it so now this sits at the bottom and then the house should rest on this so it's pretty exciting to see how this is all going to work but let's check out our rooms here there's the kids rooms the windows open out which is what you want you've got this door goes both ways look at all the different power sources you have and then I'm gonna hook up the two houses together they tell you here so you can hook this to the base house and then you can add another floor which I have by the way but not gonna do in this video so when I come back now we're gonna be over at no actually what I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what's going in the house and I'll just go over there and do all of that all right so like I normally do I try to pre prep my opening here so I can carefully take these out now this set here is the fireplace that lights up and some of these come out real nice you just kind of pull out the insert they're all a little bit different you know how they open hold on a second let me grab a scissors here it helps to kind of pry this open just a little of course be careful you don't need a sharp object to do that and then this comes off okay and then here's like a little package that opens pretty neat let me just turn that down here is a little candle set that I'll put on the top of my mantle and this looks like a wall picture that I get to hang up for Christmas okay and then my fireplace with two stockings and it looks to be a glowing fireplace with some green garland along the top okay because I have all the Lundy boxes saved and put away I feel this is gonna be a set that's gonna stay around for generations that's the way I think of it okay and this is the second one now this is the kind that you have to cut you have to cut that top layer of plastic to get in so we have that we have four packages and they have a little weight to them so it's not just a hollow piece this little thing I'm not sure what that is some kind of animal a ram or something and then my little gnome traveling gnome and then my Christmas tree which I will set up with the lights it looks like it lights up we will see it does it's got to plug the light up and then to complete the living room I thought I can't just leave you hanging with that I mean it's not a complete room so I brought in this set this is the rest of the actual living room so I cut this to have it ready too we got a nice throw rug and some pillows some orange pillows my table with some books on it already my couch nice looking couch huh I'm not gonna make a nice little living room scene all right so we're gonna head on over now let me get this rug out sorry for all the crinkling the rug is actually taped in on its own on the corner so I need to remove carefully remove that tape okay don't want to crinkle that all right all the tape is now off this is what I have to work with now and then maybe a lamp or two so if I go over there and think I need a lamp then we will uh, make that decision so 
let's head on over to the dollhouse. All right, so I wanted to show you how I lift the dollhouse so I could get the next floor in, but I did want to wrench in now. Thanks to everybody for picking the names. So it's, it was really close. It was 28% wanted John, Susie, Tommy, and Penny. 26% wanted Mark, Lisa, Ben, and Sally. So it was dad, mom, son, daughter. And then Scott, Michelle, David, and Alice actually won over everybody. So we have Scott, Michelle. So Scott is the dad down here. Michelle, David. Where's David? David's in his bunk bed up there. They're both sleeping. It's the middle of the afternoon. So I'm going to wake them up now and show you how I lift. I usually just grab this in two spots. I don't want to grab it just from the roof edge. So I'll grab it here and then I'll just lift it up straight up. It comes right out of that section. I'm going to go right over my camera and nothing fell. So we're good there. Now I did unplug it first, so make sure you do that. Now I'm going to bring in the new floor. Okay. And it should just go into the same spot. It kind of fits in this notched area here, and it fits behind Michelle, right down here on the left. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to tell my angle. And then I should just be able to place this in. Okay. I'll tell you what, let me show you a close up of that little section I was just showing you. All right, as you can see, Scott is relaxing, wondering what I'm doing, but this is where it notches in. So let me lift it up again and show you that just going in the place. Everything kind of just fits right in. Okay. All right. So let's go back and put the two floors back on. All right. So here we go. I'm going to lift it back in place. And so far I was lucky. Nothing really fell over except for maybe a picture frame. And that should just sit right into that section. Now, now it notches into a new section. Okay. So the house has truly grown. I have to change some wine because the kids now are going to come down here and then I'm going to set up all the living room stuff and get a Christmas scene here. And then, surprising, well, a big surprise is the next video. I'm going to change this whole front section. So that's going to happen in the next video. So let's come back. Let me get everything over here and we'll make our adjustments. All right, so I'm way up in the kids' room. I'm going to move Dave and Alice down. At least get their furniture here and then I'll move the camera down so you can see me take it out of this section. And now we will... Move down to this section, way down here. Now, if you noticed, you don't have stairs that are going to go from this section to this section. That's just the way it is when you add on a floor. So your imagination needs to get you from bottom level to this level. And now I'm going to slide them in all the way back. They're set. And then I'll put this here. Looks like a much bigger space for them down here. Okay. And then... Let's just look at this section here. And I really haven't don't have like a necessary plan for this. Like, oh, I have to do it this way or I have to do it that way. So let me move Dave and Michelle out of the way. I mean, Scott and Michelle. Sorry, getting used to their names still. Okay. And then let's bring in the couch. And what I'll do is I'll get it all set up. Then I'll plug it in. Well, I don't know. Let's put the couch right here because I want to put the Christmas tree here next to the couch there so I can plug it in. Okay. And so you can see it through the window. And then the fireplace. Let's see, I want to plug that in. So there's a plug in back here and I'll do all that when I come back. And I think maybe I'm going to change this a little. Do we kind of want it this way so they can enjoy the fire? What do you think? Plug these two in along this wall. We don't want the tree too close to the fireplace, that's for sure. Okay. And then we'll give them their table with their books on it. Okay, starting to look good. Some fluffy pillows. We'll put, just put those in there. Put one on the couch. The kids are hanging out. And then some room accents. We'll put this by the door. And then my presents all go around the tree. Okay, we'll put this in the corner. We'll set this on the mantel. Right in the center. And then we'll load up with presents. Here, I'll move this this way so you can kind of see more inside. Here, how about this? This is nice. I can angle it and you can see inside the room. 
They're close to the tree, they can look at the fireplace, and they can move around a little. Okay. So now it's easier for me to plug this stuff in. I'm gonna plug in, ooh, my picture. That's gonna be hard to do. So what I like to do, and a tip, actually what I'll do, I'll come back, I'll show you a little tip that I did for a couple other things that I stuck on the wall. Let me show you that. Okay, everything's looking really nice. So what I wanted to show you is that this poster putty works good when you're sticking things to the walls if you want to move them later. Because this picture won't stay up after Christmas, right? So you're going to have to pull it down. But it will peel the paper off the back. I had an experience in the parents' room on the wall. Accidental. So I used this on one of the lights and it seemed to hold and stay. And then I'm able to move it. So now I can take my picture all the way above the mantle and stick it against the wall. And I'm only going to be able to put so much pressure on it without supporting my dollhouse, but it should stay pretty good there. All right, so I still need to plug my lights in, come back and get the family in the room. All right, so I've toned down the lights a little bit. I noticed there was a little piece of plastic in the fireplace area behind the socks, so I moved that out. And it looks like I have three lights on the tree, so I need to adjust those so we get a little more light back there, but the fireplace looks good. As you can see, well here, let me turn on this light. Let me turn on all my lights, and so now we're back to my regular lighting. Okay. And the presents are out, and let's see, where are we at? Well, what do I want to do next? Well, it's nice to see the kids relaxing. Let's bring in mom and dad, okay? How about I come back and we'll make that all happen. All right, I am back. I almost forgot my cool looking rug. That's going to add some nice color to the room. Okay, everybody seems cozy. Let me do this. Let me quickly turn off some lights so you can see what's lit up. I notice now after I plugged in the tree, I've got to move some lights around because i got three in one spot. I'm going to turn off just my front lights to darken things up. You can see the fireplace is lit. There was a little piece of plastic in the fireplace which I removed. I didn't see it till I was putting it in. All right, so now you see everything lit up. Let me turn these lights back on. Because mom and dad are not in the room. Okay, where's Scott and Michelle? Let's see. Let's put Michelle on the couch. Okay, so she's hanging out. And dad, we'll put dad in the kitchen. He's cooking upstairs, which you can't see, but I have him up here. I'll show you. As he hops down to the next level, whoosh, here we go. Boy, the fire sure is nice in here. Yeah, honey, you did a great job on the fire. Kids, looks like you're relaxing, ready to open presents. Daddy, can we open presents? Daddy, can we open presents? Relax, Dave. Relax, Ellis. We'll be able to get to the presents in a little bit. I want to relax, too, so let me sit down. Let me bend my legs so I can fit in there. Oh, isn't this wonderful, dear? Yes, honey, this is great. Ma, Ma, come on now. Can we open one present? One present each, just for now. Oh, Davy, I think you can open up one. Thanks, Ma. Thanks, Ma. I don't know why I said thanks, Ma, three times. But I'm still having fun. Do, 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 do. Can I open this one? Can I open this one, Mom? Sure, honey, you can open that one. But don't drop it, because it's a glass ornament. Too late. Oh, look at this box. This is so cool. Simmer down, Sparky. Simmer down. Well, there you go. I had fun. I know it's a little weird, my scenes, but... They're all unscripted. I just kind of hang out and have fun. So that is the next video in our Lundby series. Now the one that's coming up next is going to be cool because I'm going to change the whole front, add more to the house, and slowly but surely we're going to get this all done. Now my picture looks a little crooked, doesn't it? Now it's bothering me. See, I can just take it now, turn it a little. Is that better? I got to get a little level on that. 
All right, as I was saying, look at that description playlist, or always you can search Lucky Penny Shut. More videos on the way. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.